Well, hello. It is April 2nd, and um, yeah, second day of April here doing these videos, uh, just trying to encourage you and uh, again, leave you with uh, a scripture to reflect on as well as a song. And uh, so I hope yesterday uh, was helpful for you. I hope that, again, not only were you blessed by <clears throat> the, the scripture I shared and the song I shared, Waymaker, but also I hope that it open the door for you to engage in your own time in the word and worship and prayer. Um, again, that, that's the ultimate goal with this is to encourage you to be doing more of that each day throughout this month. Um, so uh, today I just wanted to share a thought. I've been thinking about friendship. Um, and uh, one of the things that, and again, Lent is all about giving something up <laughs> to help you draw closer to God. Uh, one of the things we've had to give up in this time of this COVID-19 pandemic is friendship. Uh, not in terms of staying connected with friends. We can still do that. We should be doing that by picking up the phone, calling people, reaching out through emails and texts and Facebook and all those things. Um, hopefully phone, especially hearing people's voices. Uh, but the thing we've been unable to do, um, kind of forced upon us, is we can't gather with our friends. Uh, for those who have family members in your house, you're still able to gather with them, which is a blessing. Uh, but for those who are living on their own, uh, all of those connections, in-person connections with friends have been cut off. Uh, and even for those with family and at the home, I know for many, we're missing those connections with our friends. So friendship is something I've been thinking a lot about um, and just <laughs> how I think we take that for granted. And this is causing us to realize that. I think we'll be so excited to get back with friends when this is all over. Um, so I was thinking about that, and I was thinking about the song, which I'm going to share today, the kind of old old song, What a Friend We Have in Jesus. Um, I've always liked that song. At the same time, the whole idea of Jesus as my friend has always kind of seemed a little cheesy to me, I guess. Um, I think of Jesus as my Lord and my Savior, uh, these kind of big terms for who Jesus is, for who God is. Uh, and so Jesus as my friend just never seemed to carry all that much power. Um, I'm going to include a song link at the end of this email uh, that for a song that was put out in the early 80s that is super cheesy called Jesus is a Friend of Mine. If you've never seen it before, be prepared for some epic 80s cheesiness but that's kind of how I, I think what I've what's come to mind when I think of Jesus as my friend uh, if you're watching this on Facebook just Google um, Jesus is my friend by Sunseed S-O-N-S-E-E-D you'll find it trust me and you can watch it but uh, that's just to bring some humor kind of this funny video to watch uh, but again that's what I've thought of um, but then it's pretty amazing for a scripture today um, John 15 15 Jesus is speaking to his disciples and he makes this statement this is in the whole passage of the vine and the branches and he says this uh, you are my friends if you do what I command you no longer do I call you servants for the servant does not know what his master is doing but I have called you friends for all that I have heard from my father I have made known to you it marks this really significant shift again John 15 14 and 15 John chapter 15 verses 14 and 15 uh, I now call you friends um, again isn't some cheesy thing there it's this really important shift Jesus makes from uh, his disciples you know him he has their rabbi and them as his disciples being servants uh, again a servant doesn't know what his master is doing Jesus says he has come to make God the Father known to people. They now aren't just some lowly servants. They're now counted as friends of Jesus because they know through him what the Father is up to, what the Father is doing. So it's this really key shift and um, I think makes this whole idea of Jesus as our friend uh, gives it greater power and greater meaning. Uh, again, a friend is someone you can go to at any time and, and lean on and I think we're really seeing that now, how much we miss those uh, in-person friendships and those connections. And so I think this is a great time to think of Jesus as our friend, 
when we're maybe feeling really isolated, we're really feeling the void of friendships in our lives, maybe, uh, to say, you know what? Jesus is that friend that I can go to anytime. He's like that. Maybe you've heard of a 3 a.m. friend, uh, someone you can call at 3 a.m. about anything. Jesus is that. Right? You can call, you can reach out to him anytime. If you wake up in the middle of the night, talk to him. Um, he is that friend for us who will never, who's never too busy to talk, who's never, uh, you know, has too much going on. He's always accessible. He always wants us to go to him. So, so actually, Jesus as our friend is a pretty deep, profound uh, theological statement, and I think it's one that's good for us to remember, especially at this time. Like I say, when we're missing friendship so much, reach out to Jesus, draw near to Jesus. Uh, what a friend we have in Jesus. So I'm going to sing this now. Uh, again, I'll post the lyrics in the email. Uh, but again, I'm sure this is familiar to many of you. And I hope you're blessed by this. And join me in worshiping now.
encouraged by that song. Um, I encourage you to go and read the lyrics. Uh, they're really actually appropriate and powerful for this time in which we're living right now, for this season in which we find ourselves. Uh, I'd say we all have some trouble and some burdens and some cares we're carrying around. Take them to Jesus. Take them to the Lord in prayer. May this song encourage you uh, to be people of prayer and to be going to Jesus more, who is our dearest friend. So God bless you. See you tomorrow.